James Wand is James the Wine Guy. Stay tuned for a review of this beautiful top tier Cabernet Sauvignon coming from Chile. So stay tuned. So here's what we have before us, Don Melchor from the Puente Alto Vineyard Cabernet Sauvignon 2010 Vintage. And uh, this is produced by Concha y Toro, 14.5% ABV, back panel for inspection here. You'll see that this is a 24th vintage of this particular Cabernet Sauvignon. This is 97% Cabernet Sauvignon, 3% Cabernet Franc. It's exquisite. It's really, uh, you know, I think sometimes, and the price point on this is $125, and that is part of my story. So when I think of wine prices in the $100 range, I'm often thinking it really needs to wow me and, you know, definitely knock the socks off uh, me and, and really get to that point of being a point of difference wine. And really, obviously, it's going to be a situation where quantities are very low, hence higher price points. But also, there needs to be something in addition to that. And this wine certainly proves that. I think what's really exquisite about this wine is it's... Uh, scent characterization flavor profile in a way that is first of all this is 97 percent cabernet sauvignon and three percent cabernet franc i'm really getting a sense of great earthiness and gaminess and that's what i take away from in terms of say a carmenere but there's no carmenere in here and that's the beauty of this wine is that complexity is continuing to unfold in this wine so on this i'm getting a scent characterization of stone fruit orchard in fall time leather juniper wood pile and uh spice rack as well so next is the flavor characterization and then the points for Absolutely exquisite flavor characteristics include tayberry, blackberry, game, pepper, mushroom, bay leaf, cardamom, and lavender. I give this one a 9.5 out of my 10.0 scale. I think of this as 95 points out of 100 points. Thank you again for watching me today. Uh, this is where I look at you know places around the world where Chile, I've tasted very few wines from this year, uh, but wines that do land on my desk from Chile are fantastic. And I'm really excited to taste wines like this. And I'll place the uh, previous vintage that I reviewed right here and uh, place uh, any questions, comments down below. More information on the producer will also be listed down below. Let's stay connected on many social medias that I participate in, such as Facebook, Twitter, Vimeo, Google+, Pinterest, LinkedIn, as well as Instagram and WordPress. And do me another favor, share this video, give a like, and subscribe to my wine channel. Thank you again for watching me today. Stay tuned for more, many more great wines to come. And uh, thank you again for watching. Salud.